you if you're looking for a house right now it can feel like you're having to paddle upstream these days mortgage rates are sitting well above six percent at six point zero seven percent throughout much of the dmv the higher the interest rate means a loss of purchasing power for families but there is some good news in all of this prices are coming down slightly and there are more homes on the market. Joining us right now is Randy Lewis. He's a real estate agent with Bennett Realty Solutions. Good morning to you, Randy. Good morning, Larry. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Help help us out here because when I talk with people on the street, they're deeply concerned about how things are on the market right now. There's a lot of uncertainty. Help us navigate the, these high interest rates. Do we still have the ability to buy? Absolutely. That's a great question. Uh, with the interest rates being high, there's still a big opportunity to purchase homes at a discounted rate. Mm -hmm. Here in the DMV, uh, homes are still appreciating. Um, there's more room for negotiations. So a lot of the times my clients are purchasing homes discounted. Um, and the thing with interest rates, you always have the ability to refinance out of it. And so uh, be, with that being said, you know, it's still a great time to buy. Uh, as we all know, when you're purchasing a home, it's, it comes with wealth building and being able to buy a home and have some equity in it will take you a long way. I can imagine that you probably have to have a heart to heart or as my agent said, a come to Jesus moment <laughs> during the home buying process. Absolutely. What are you telling your clients when it comes to coming out with a competitive offer. What does a competitive offer look like given the circumstances these days? Uh, the fewer contingencies, the better. Uh, contingencies are ways to back out of a contract. And so a lot of times if my client really likes the home, I'll say, hey, let's uh, do a pre-inspection if the seller allows it. Mm -hmm. That way we know what the condition of the home is. If you like it, then we, can, we won't have to include that in the contract. And that gives sellers more comfort knowing that you know you have a less ways to back out of the contract. In addition, uh, financing is a big key. Um, a lot of times I'll have my clients uh, go through uh, uh, actual being underwritten. Mm -hmm. And so that allows you to close quicker. Typically it takes 30 to 45 days to close, but if you're fully underwritten, you can close in as little as 21 days. Oh, well, I mean, a lot, a lot of good advice there, especially given where the interest rates are sitting right now. Uh, if people are looking for affordable homes, I think inside the metro, inside the Beltway, yeah. homes are averaging about six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars on average. People are looking for homes that may be a little bit less than th than that price. Where where should where should we be looking? So if you're looking in D.C., definitely east of the river mm -hmm. neighborhoods such as Fort Dupont, Hillcrest Heights, Deanwood. Those are areas where they're still pretty affordable and homes are still appreciating. If you're in Maryland, uh, Prince George's County, Howard County, Charles County, those areas are typically good and affordable. And then in Virginia, areas such as Lorton, Woodbridge, those are all areas where you can still uh, purchase homes. All right, Randy, if we want to get in contact with you, what can we do? Uh, you can contact me on social media. Uh, my social media handle uh, as it relates to real estate is real estate underscore Randy underscore DMV. I'm on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. Uh, my website is realestaterandydmv.com. And you can also hashtag block shoppers or Hashtag real estate Randy DMV. All right, Randy Lewis, real estate agent extraordinaire. Randy, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank